Hey, it's Adam here and you're watching The Culture Hack. We're talking about how to create engaged workspaces that unlock the potential of your teams and drive your business forward in ways you've never seen. So stay tuned. Hello, welcome to The Culture Hack. Today is a crazy episode because we're going to talk about, among other things, quantum physics. So we have Katanya Kuntz with me today and uh, her business partner, AJ Sikora, and they are co-founders of Cubo Consulting. And is not only Catania, a female tech startup business owner, but uh, she's a quantum physicist. So a first for the Culture Hack. Welcome, guys. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks so much for having us, Adam. We appreciate it. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> so first of all, tell me a little bit about Cubo. How does quantum physics play into the business world? I, I, I need to know. Yeah, um, awesome question. Good way to start it off. So uh, right now there are a number of new technologies that are being developed and researched and there are a number of quantum startups that are producing various solutions to business problems that exist today. And so as these technologies evolve and develop and, and become more commercialized, um, there are going to there's going to be a need for businesses to learn about quantum physics and the applications and implications of these new emerging and disruptive technologies. And so that's kind of how we've uh, decided to form our company is helping people understand, uh, first of all, how does it work? Um, next, what is the application? And, you know, why should I care about it? And, and there's a number of, you know, threats and opportunities that will come out with any emerging disruptive technology. Um, if you look at, you know, AI, that's a huge disruption. Um, and so with, with quantum, it's important for people to be aware of this. Uh, they call it the second quantum revolution. It's, a, it's good for people to be aware of what's going to come uh, when the second quantum revolution happens, which is already taking place. Amazing. That sounds super exciting. So, Catania, maybe you can give me an example of some of these cool quantum technologies that are out there right now. Definitely. So, as you said, I'm a quantum physicist. Um, I've been in the field for a while and I specialize in quantum optics. So, that's using light uh, or individual particles of light called photons to either transmit information, uh, you can store and, and, and um, compute with photons. You can also use them for sensing. So there's a lot of applications in quantum technologies with light. And then there's also atoms. So there's a whole other platform that involving either um, the properties of an atom or you can have the superconducting circuits uh, to do quantum computing. So these are some of the platforms that IBM and D-Wave, for example, are using. Um, I could go on and on. <laughs> OK, very, very cool. So. I, I think I, I'm starting to understand now the need to educate people on this because you just said a bunch of words and uh, I understood a lot of it, but maybe not the implications of, of, of how it's practically being applied, right? Exactly. So so you guys do uh, educational programs, uh, that kind of thing. Maybe tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, for sure. So uh, we're very focused on training. Uh, we offer training to C-suite, governments, investors, and uh, people that want to upskill and enter the quantum workforce. And so um, that's where we've started is with uh, the, the upskillers and the, the uh, what do they call it? Upskill and reskill, mm -hmm. or is that right? Yeah. Yeah, upskill and reskill. Yeah. And um, so we, you know, we produce these, cor these courses for these different audiences. And, you know, the first one we did was the quantum basics. And we talked about a few different fundamental properties of quantum that make it different from the, the classical technology, the contemporary technology of today. And the second course we taught was called the revolution. And that's about uh, how quantum will impact the economy. And so there's a number of implications of, of quantum and how it'll impact. There's a quantum threat that it could um, break current encryption standards within, who knows, five to 15 years is what the experts say. And uh, there's also some novel solutions that are coming out, optimizations that can run larger data sets than what's capable with the highest powered computers today. 
and um, there's also simulations that we can run that um, can, you know, discover new materials, drug discovery. Um, you could run different simulations to uh, prepare for disasters. Um, and and there's a, a few different other um, areas. And in particular, Alberta and the mining sector might be interested in the quantum uh, sensing area as well. So you can use these devices. Um, there's a few companies in Canada that are making them. Uh, and you can detect the magnetic field of the Earth very, very uh, in, in, with more sensitivity. And you can also uh, do more of a 3D mapping of, of these magnetic field lines. And so you can get a, a more accurate picture when you're doing uh, uh, prospecting. Mm -hmm. very, very and cool. so, yeah, so our first courses have been through our, our new partner, MyTax, and they are the main delivery arm for quantum training under the National Quantum Strategy of Canada. And so they're they're charged with the task of trying to disseminate uh, this training to people, uh, you know, equitably and across all of Canada. Mm -hmm. So even if people are in rural areas and, and don't have access to a university physically, uh, you know, my tax is there to help people uh, access important information and trainings online. And so, We've partnered with them to deliver these courses. We've done them in webinar format, and they've been about three hours each. Um, the engagement of the courses has been awesome. Uh, there's been great discussions, some some really like challenging questions from people. It, it seems like uh, when people hear about quantum, I think they get ideas in their head, and and then it's like, hey, what can quantum do? Can it do this? Can it, you know? And so uh, it's been some really uh interesting uh discussions in those courses mm -hmm. okay and uh, that's the interesting thing about quantum right it, it can come off as a very scary subject um or very off-putting but what we try to do is bring it more to the real world um we are going to explain the technical if you want but we can keep it at a non-technical level and it's all about the engagement and growing the ecosystem. We really want to support the quantum ecosystem in Canada and globally. And we're one of the first companies doing this. Very, very cool. I mean, I mean, first off, I didn't know that Canada had a national quantum strategy. So yes, <laughs> that's cool. Um, <laughs> and then um, secondly, you know, I, I love what you said about uh, trying to meet people where they're at, right? Like quantum physics even Einstein called it spooky right like you know right. nobody knows what it is uh, exactly um, mm -hmm. so you're talking to people you're bringing it to their level getting them excited about innovation and new stuff and uh, that's that's pretty fantastic so mm -hmm. what do you see now for the future you you've got some interest now you've got my techs who my tax is just kind of helping you distribute the the knowledge, like where do we go from here with, with quantum? Uh, there's a number of places to go. There seems to be a lot of traction from various organizations and sectors. Um, right now, it seems like there needs to be more interest in quantum from industry, from, from non-quantum industries, um, because there are implications for every sector and businesses need to get prepared. They need to know about what are the opportunities? Could I be a, a get a competitive advantage out of this? Uh, they need to know about the threats, like uh, is my data at risk, which it is, um, and get prepared. So I think the, the, the way we see it, the, the best way that we can help grow this ecosystem is through education and, and through outreach and letting people know what's going on out there. Mm -hmm. And also toning down the hype, right? So sometimes when the media gets a hold of a new technology, um, it, they might play it up. And so uh, quantum computer, computers, for example, are very powerful, but we don't have a, a functioning working quantum computer full system right now. What we have are, are these like subsystems you can think of, and they, they perform quantum tasks but they're not the full uh, version that, that AJ was talking about that would be the quantum threat. Um, and when we have that version, that's when your public key encryption, for example, the, the RSA encryption that we use almost every day for online purchases, online banking, anything that has a little lock sign in your, in your window browser, 
that's a public key encryption and that that type of uh, uh, encryption could be vulnerable to a quantum computer because a quantum computer just operates differently from a classical computer it's a completely different technology it's a qubit uh, it's a quantum bit a qubit instead of a normal bit it's very very different and so we try to explain the, the physical differences because in order to appreciate how powerful a quantum computer could be it's it, you need to understand those those differences and then we we apply them to the transportation logistics area for example so if you're a company that has a whole bunch of routing problems and you have different cargo that needs to be in in some in refrigerators some goes on train some is on on air flight all of these parameters can be modeled in these quantum systems because of these advantages they can just handle more parameters so these problems that are like impossible for normal computers right now become possible with a class with a quantum computer oh well i i really love the approach right well, this, how often do we hear a highly technical concept and uh, people struggle to relate to it but you guys your approach of building a community around it and getting people excited about the innovation i think i think it's wonderful so um thank you very much for your time for coming on the show i really appreciate it yeah thanks so much for having us adam thank you adam hey thanks for watching the culture hack do you want to chat culture and engagement give us a call and come on the show